What's up everybody? Nick back with Foreclosure Finder for another walkthrough of the week. Go ahead and like and subscribe. New videos every Saturday morning. We're out here in Northern Connecticut today at another one of my brokerage's foreclosure assignments to do our initial walkthrough. Uh, got quite the property for you today. As you can see right off the rip, we have some outbuildings that are in need of removal. Uh, this is the first time I'm, I've gotten to the house. I've already walked through it, but uh, this was this was quite eye-catching. Um, this is probably the most dilapidated, rundown um, garage outbuilding I've ever seen. I mean, you can see this place is just toast. I have no clue what happened here. Um, but this is this is a pretty bad one. You can see we have like a whole outbuilding, uh, like storage shed facility here. We'll come back to the side here, and you can see this was some type of garage slash workshop slash something but i have absolutely no clue like what happened here um, i'm not going to be going into those garages just from a safety concern standpoint um because this basically has to be demoed um i'll show you a little bit of the rest of the house right now we're going to get to that the house is definitely in need of repair too but wanted to show this off just to see how bad it was wow look at this i mean yeah this must have just collapsed at one point and that was it look at all this stuff the uh the issue with this is <laughs> what's it going to cost to clean it up um because that's always the question mark right so yeah i just wanted to showcase you guys as this is this is probably the worst i've ever seen at, at and in probably over my 10 what 10 12 years doing this now so just just throwing that out there um we'll start with the property we'll walk around the back here um place was built in 1860 it's going to be very evident um once we get inside um, you know starting off just the standard stuff. It's gonna need roof. It's gonna need siding. It's gonna need windows um, I'm not gonna say it's a you know most of its original, but um, Some of it does appear to be uh, so like some of the wood the wood plank flooring and whatnot um, Good good side yard. I mean you get some good acreage here on this property again You got to deal with that mess, but that'll be its own thing uh, You can see the sidings already toast. It is wood siding. Um, this is like an addition to the back of the house You can see like you got the main house addition one addition two. You'll see that when we get in It's a little little bit of a fun house, but roof is toast. You can see some uh, some damage there right under the tree on the soffits um, Getting there windows are original uh, We got nice stone stone and mortar uh, foundation Walking around here. There is an in-ground oil tank. Where did I see that? That's also another issue. I mean, this house is gonna have to, it's gonna need the right person just at the end of the day. Um, Cause this is even something where like it, it might be too much. I mean, might be too much for certain investors. Obviously the, the price is right. Anyone will buy it, but here's a tank. It's just thinking about this one. Uh, in-ground oil tank. Obviously you can see the, the tank there built in 1860. Again, just taking a look. Standard, like, colonial style. Pretty pretty standard style of home for this year built. Um, but you're going to see it's going to need a lot of work. Um, 1860, like we said. Wood siding. Peeling paint everywhere. You can see the uh, front deck has already been removed. You got some more damaged siding. I mean, the, the house wrap is even gone. You're seeing the exposed boards there. Um, I'd, I'd be curious to see how old those are. Plenty of this type of stuff going on. You're gonna see this place, as much as I hate to say it, you know, might have some historical significance, but uh, this place might just need a bulldozer, uh, to put it nicely. You can see uh, just coming again, this more evidence of the change in the change in foundations. You have the big stones there that they were using on the main part of the house, right? And then you can see it switches over to the concrete blocks. And I believe on the back side it was concrete. You had a little of the stone in the front here, but then it was concrete blocks on the back as well. And again, just the the roof lines and almost like it goes down in a step but we'll get inside here got my flashlight like from the past video we'll get in get in to light this place up there we go all right so first things first we'll come in i guess we'll start in like this is like the kitchen um again this place is pretty much gutted uh it's good you can see the the wide plank floorboards it's going to be consistent throughout the home where you get that old uh you know the older style homes are going to have that like anything pre-1900 you're going to see these um, plank floorboards. You can see the wood stove right in the middle of the kitchen. Um, I, and honestly, it looks like they might have been actually using that because um, I don't see a stove here. You know, you got the fridge there, sink there, but um, they might have actually been utilizing this to not only heat, but cook as well. Get a little bit of a side. We're going to come back this way 
Figured we do the back of the house, uh, back of the house first. Tons of just like missing drywall and ceilings. You're gonna see that all throughout the property. Like you can just see here, you know, ceiling on this side, but not on this side. Come into this little, like this is the second edition, I guess. Again, keeping that theme with the uh, wide plank boards. You know, you gotta pay extra to get this stuff now, but it was not kind of the standard back then. And again, another wood stove. Come back here, I think this was just a room. Yep, just a random room. And I, and I already walked through the house, so I kind of know what I'm getting into because uh, with houses kind of this dilapidated and old, is this an outhouse? Watch this be the outhouse. I thought I saw this in the photos, yeah. So I'd be curious. That's interesting. I mean, 1860, I don't think they had indoor plumbing yet. So I wouldn't be surprised if that might have been an outhouse, like, you know, quote unquote outhouse at some point. Uh, you see, we got some nice mold starting to grow on the, uh, the beams here. And uh, there is a basement. It's down here. Um, there's nothing down here. So I'll just show you guys. But again, there's like, I don't think there's literally anything down here. I think I saw the furnace in the back. Maybe, yeah, this place is just toast. Um, with the rest of the condition, we can assume everything's going to be needs to be replaced down here. So I'm not going to waste my time down there. There's plenty more to see in the house anyway. We already know this is basically going to have to be priced as a demo um, unless there's some type of historical significance to this. And you can see sometimes with these old houses, because they're so choppy, I was getting ready to walk into here and meet a dead end. You're going to see some of that in the upper level too. Uh, they kind of turn into a bit of a maze. Um, you always just got to keep kind of kind of keep a mental note of where you're walking. If you get a little water in there, I'm not sure what that may be. Like a little laundry room, closet, bedroom here. Nothing too, too fancy. It's actually, oh, got some bowed flooring right here. Um, that'll bring us into that other room. Just a quick walk around. But I mean, you can see like they don't even have trim on the floor, you know, nothing like that. Pretty bare in here. It's nothing too crazy. That We're going to get into that door from the other side, that room to the other side right here. Got like a little living room area. You're going to see a lot of the fireplaces. Again, um, you know, 1860, they didn't have the, the radiators were put in post-fact. But I mean, you can see how rough this place is. It's gonna be plaster. Let me take a look at this. I mean, this has been sitting for a while. It's got the smoke stains on it, so they were probably smokers. Windows look at least 40 years old. You know, they're wood, the wood drawstring windows. You can see multiple layers of wallpaper. We'll cut through. We'll go, we'll go upstairs in a minute, but again, just showing you, this place is pretty rough. Fireplace goes under the stairs. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, right out there, okay. Uh, but again, you know, ceiling's gone. Drywall's gone. That's how you know it's uh, plaster when you got the board back there like that. And again, just the age of the home is gonna dictate that as well. And just get a good look at this room. And again, this is where I was saying, we just went into a room. Now we're gonna go into another room. Let's see what's in here. Okay, might lead out to a hallway there. So again, I'm getting a little confused again, just looking at the ceiling, just checking everything out. I mean, this, this place is toast. It's more just seeing kind of how bad it is, show you guys what's going on. See the peeling paint on these doors, how old some of this stuff may be. All right, I got the bathroom here. All right, okay. Got the, uh, the claw foot, some, some modern tile for the most part, but all this is gonna need to be replaced. I mean, you got the pull, I mean, just to show you the age of the home, yeah, you got the lights there, but you also got the pull strings um, available too. Probably didn't want to update all the wiring. I don't know what this is. This almost looks like it should be the stairwell to the basement. And then we pop back out. Oh, this is this room. Okay, back into this room. Okay, so yeah, you can see it's a little, I mean, it's a little interesting in terms of the maze. And I mean, look how narrow this door is. Um, you know, I'm, I'm shoulder to shoulder. I'm not a big guy, but I'm shoulder to shoulder in this doorway. And just, you know, with it being, the house being what? 160 years old. You can obviously, I don't know if you can pick it up, but you can see some of the, the settling here to put it nicely. It almost looks, it's pretty, pretty significant slope. That's part of the issue with a lot of these houses too. The renovation is one thing, but you can't like this, this floor is just dipping straight down into the, uh, into the stairwell there. So that's a little bit of a harder a harder thing to fix. You know, the house has been settling for over 150 years at this point. We're gonna head up to the upstairs again. You get that nice wood, that nice wide boards. We'll go into bedroom number one. But you, well, you can even see, like as we come up, you got one room, two room, three room, four room. So it's all, you know, four bedrooms up here, but you got a, a little landing that's, that's very small. 
Again, we'll walk around this room, nothing too crazy. Again, pretty much you know, all gonna be the standard stuff. Check out the floors, tons of wallpaper, deferred maintenance, what else is new? Some homeowner special thing. Just really looking for any like significantly glaring issues. It's a very small bedroom. You would call it a bedroom because we do have a closet. So, but just, you know, just like the functionality of it. This would be maybe a kid's bedroom or a storage room. I don't know if you're gonna get much functionality out of it. Bedroom number three, same type of thing. Oh, we got a little, I think that goes from the other bedroom too. We'll do that again, just, we got a hole here. I wonder what that's about. Looks like it goes into the next bedroom. Maybe heat, some capacity. And here's that, here's the fourth bedroom. So you can see we walk around and where was the attic? Here's the attic. So again, you can see that you, this turns into a fun house very quickly. Um, you know, we walked up the stairs, we're into a bedroom. There's a whole hallway down here we'll get to. And then we go over to the, uh, to the attic. Again, we'll just take a quick look up here. Go up to the attic. Um, I'm gonna put the light down just to see if we get any daylight. You can see we got some coming in through the siding there. A little behind there. Uh, not too bad everywhere oh, in the corner there too. It's a good way to see if you got leaks or something Just make sure it's dark up there and see if you can see some daylight Again, but we know we know that that roof's gonna be toast come through here, and this is just more Looks like it's just another hallway boarded up window. You can see they're like look at these windows. They're just like Knee you know ankle level. That's the bedroom like ankle level windows. It's kind of weird Another like weird bedroom again, just could you use this as a bedroom? Yeah, would I want it as a bedroom? Not necessarily. Cause you just, you know, no headroom, the angle, probably just storage room. And I think this is what, a bathroom? Yeah, so another bathroom, but even, even same thing here. Um, I have no clue what was going on there. This plumbing's toast, where's the toilet? Toilet's right there. And just in another cloth with tub. But again, like no, uh, no shower in here or anything. I mean, I don't even have the plumbing hooked up. So this was, this looks a little weird. I mean, you can see no, just going straight up to the, uh, to the attic. There's some, some water intrusion. So again, just pretty typical from what you guys have seen. I think this is that stairwell to that back door. Cool. So I'm not going to go down that way because I think it was jammed up. We'll go out the back, but again, just, there's a lot going on. Yeah. This room and then to the stairs or to the right. Yes. So interesting one to say the least uh this is going to be a tough sale in my opinion mostly just because i mean forget the price being right you know if the price is right it'll sell but you're going to need the right contractor to come in here and stomach this job just because again the 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 cleanup alone to deal with this I mean, I've done some. I've done some demolitions. I mean, I, I this is this could be anywhere from I'd probably say seventy-five to a hundred thousand dollars in cleanup, and that's before you even, that's before you even start demoing the inside of the house, just because we don't know what's under there. We don't even know what's in that garage, and just the, the safety of it is going to be probably another just issue. It's going to take time. A lot of guys, you got to be safe and, and um, you know, clean with it too. You don't want to be spilling anything. But that's just going to be, this is what's going to make the valuation tough um just what what do they do with this because the house is one thing but this mess is a complete uh complete other complete other thing so um i'll let the light on so again uh, i think that's going to be it for this one appreciate you guys walking through uh with another walkthrough of the week again like and subscribe new videos every saturday morning nick signing off until next time